It's estimated one in 59 people suffers from some form of autism, a neurological disorder, autism spectrum disorders may or may not be noticeable in infancy, but usually become apparent during early childhood, 24 months to six years. Living with an autistic family member can be challenging for any family, but the Autism Society of Northwestern Pennsylvania wants you to know you don't have to make that journey alone. Joining me now to talk about an upcoming event designed to raise awareness and have a little fun, and it all stays right here locally, the money raised. Tish Bartlett, Executive Director for the Autism Society of Northwestern PA. Tish, good to see you again. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. As I mentioned, the numbers, you know, one in 59, that number keeps getting bigger. Um, you know, very sobering. Autism knows really no racial, ethnic, economic boundaries, does it? No, it does not. And those new numbers are most recent, the end of uh, April of this year, the CDC just released the one in 59. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't that long ago. That number was one in 200 something. And, and it, you know, it's, it's really come to the forefront lately. What, if anything, do we know about the causes of autism? Um, the cause of autism is a neurological disorder uh, causing developmental delays. And you can see those delays in the speech, either they're verbal or nonverbal, their communication methods, their social interactions. Um, restrictive behaviors, they tend to have um, restricted interest that you'll see predominantly in individuals that have been diagnosed. Is it treatable? How, how does the medical community deal with autism? Um, there are therapies. Early, in, early intervention is really a key. The earlier the individual is identified with autism and they can start their therapies such as behavioral modification, speech, therapy, occupational therapy, physical therapy, if they have some fine motor skills or gross motor skill challenges. Um, all of these can be very beneficial to help the individual be more successful throughout their lifespan. And the one thing we always want to note is an autism spectrum disorder is for the life. There is no no permanent cure. When you're diagnosed as a three-year-old, you will be a 50-year-old with an autism disorder. Okay, with that information in mind, well, what are the most common, you know, challenges facing someone who is on the autism spectrum? And as we mentioned, really, you know, everyone around that person. Um, some of the challenge really are their speech and communication, being able to communicate their needs and wants, being understood. Um, their social interaction, some of their behaviors when they're overstimulated or stressed, anxiety, are misinterpreted for negative or destructive behaviors. When really it's just much misunderstood that they're not able to process the situation. So as they get older, these challenges really affect them in trying to find employment and being able to interview and get through that interview to impress their future employer. Um, once they have that opportunity, they can be your best employees because they're rule followers. They're going to show up on time every day. They're not going to stand at the water fountain chit-chatting. Yeah. They're going to get their work done. So they, they can be some of the best workers you'll ever see. Well, let's get to that special event um, because you want to invite the public to attend. Talk to us about it. Um, you know, what do you hope to do as far as awareness and, and how much do you hope to raise in, in terms of dollars? Yes, Eller's Piece of the Puzzle will be held on Saturday, July 7th at the Bourbon Barrow from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. We're very excited. There, this um, event is being ha held in honor for the memory of Stephen Eller, who had a nephew with autism that really embraced and learned everything he could. Unfortunately, Stephen was taken from us at a very young age of 31. So they're doing this in his memory. And all proceeds will go to the Autism Society. There's going to be raffles, 50-50, um, theme basket auction. There's a $10 uh, donation at the door, if you would like, which will cover your food. Um, and the Bourbon Barrow has been very supportive of this event, so we're really excited about it. Fantastic. Tish Bartlett, Executive Director for the Autism Society here in Northwestern Pennsylvania. Thanks for coming in tonight. Hopefully this spreads the word. You get a big crowd out there. Yes, thank you very much. Our Hope pleasure. to see you there. We'll be right back.